Hey, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Thanks for tuning in to the Mike Wagner Show on Anchor FM. If you're interested in sponsoring my show, you can send me an email to the Mike Wagner Show at gmail.com, or you could also donate to the uh, podcast. Just go to the Donate Listen site, and um, you can also donate whatever you like. Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. For those who are interested, Anchor can give you everything you need in one place for free, which means write from your phone or computer. We've got creation tools. allows you to record and edit podcasts so it sounds great. And those true the podcast for you so you can be heard everywhere. Spotify, Apple, Google, many more. And you can make money from the podcast with no minimum listenership. So download the Anchor app for free or go to Anchor FM to get started. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show brings you famous celebrities and amazing people from all over the world. Listen online at themikewagnershow.com and on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. And watch the interview on YouTube. So sit back and relax and enjoy the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking for a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Apple, Google Play, and you also take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device and subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on YouTube as well. We're here with a wonderful lady from the Jacksonville, Florida area. She's the author of Supernatural Rescue from Broken to Beautiful. And this was before, during, and after brain surgery with a tumor size of a tennis ball around 2012. She also battled fibromyalgia eight months afterwards and um, talks about her story in the book. And uh, she was also doing some competitive ballroom dancing as well, too, in the TV show So You Think You Can Dance. And um, she also gives a lot of inspiration, a lot of advice. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, live from beautiful Jacksonville, Florida, and dancing away at the same time as we're talking about the book, (laughs) Linda Plunkett. Linda, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much. Anytime. So, you're the author of Supernatural Rescue from Broken to Beautiful. This is before, during, and after brain surgery with tumor size of a tennis ball around 2012, also battling fibromyalgia eight months after the uh, surgery and uh, you talk about your story in the book and um, also talks about a number of things like improving brain function overcoming depression anxiety and everything else you also appeared on um so you think you can dance and that's all over youtube and uh like to hear more about it but first of all before we get into your book and everything else tell us how you got started um how i got started as a writer you mean or as a dancer um, Okay, well, let's um, let let's start off. Uh, let's see, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You know what? Let's start off as a dancer. It's like I'm ready to dance after this year. So, <laughs> okay. Well, before the brain tumor, um, I had had been a dancer, not at the level that I am now. But unfortunately, after the brain tumor, I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk, I couldn't think. I basically had to put the dancing aside, and then. Um, as I recovered from the dancing, and I, I thank you for giving me credit for that show, but actually it was my professional partner, Eddie Rivera, that was on that show. Uh-huh. Now, ha- having said that, I was honored last year at Millennium Dance Competition, which is a national dance competition. Oh, wow. Uh, with, an, uh, with an inspirational award for, for dancing and speaking, um, basically a Dance Hero Award, and that was a complete shock. I thought uh, basically we were doing a dance to portray my story, and that dance can also be found on my website, lindasplunkett.com. But um, my instructor, Eddie Rivera, had designed the dance, and so I just basically thought we were going to perform it, not knowing that I was going to receive a big award at that competition. So that was a big surprise. Nice. But, um it's nice for people. Not everybody listens to interviews or even reads books, 
Well, you can go to YouTube, and now I have several. I do have several dances on YouTube. Just recently, I danced in Argentina, and so we have a Pasa Doble also on YouTube. Pasa Doble, and explain that. Well, a Pasa Doble, it's, it's, it's called the Dance of the Bullfighter. And one person is portrays the bullfighter and the other person the bull. And so I'm wearing a bright red dress, and he's he's the matador, and I'm, I'm the bull, so to say. And so it's a very unique dance. It's a Spanish dance. And so it was very exciting to be able to perform that in Argentina. Nice. That's very nice. And what are some of the other dances you perform as well, too? You know, like, say, well, with ba- ballet, yes, salsa... A- Right, quite a number. Now, the, the video, the YouTube video where I won the award, basically we're doing a Viennese waltz in that video, but I do basically all the smooth dances. I do foxtrot, waltz, um, um, you know, the whole list. The little list goes on, um, tango, um, you know. Mm-hmm. But the smooth, basically I prefer, I guess if I have a preference, I like the Latin dancing, the cha-cha, the rumba. I also like swing dancing, and so pretty much I do a little bit of it all. That is amazing. And uh, did you have to go to dance school for that? or No, this is just many years of private lessons, quite honestly, and, and group classes. And um, I wasn't one of those privileged children that started dancing as a child. My father owned a family business, and so I worked from the age of nine. But as I became older and had more time and was semi-retired, I found time to dance. And so basically, I'm, I guess what you would call a late bloomer. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, it sounds like you're doing really well, too. And um, who do you consider your uh, your favorite dancer or um, the ones that influence you the most? Well, actually, probably my instructor, because he's such an outstanding dancer. And right now, he's ranked number one in the entire country. So we're very proud of him. So probably my instructor, Eddie Rivera. He's the one I would look up to the most. Mm-hmm. I was thinking more like the dancers, like say with um, with Juliet Prowse and um, you know Baryshnikov and um, you know some of the other famous dancers as well too. Well, That's what I was thinking yeah, too. they're very they're very much classical dancers. Unfortunately, I was never really able to um, study ballet. However, I do have a dance coach that coached a number of people that were on Dancing with the Stars. So, um, and he was actually a British champion himself. So. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, he coached many of the people on Dancing with the Stars. So I have had the opportunity to connect with people that are famous in the ballroom arena, I guess you would say. Mm-hmm. And, and when's the next competition for you? Well, um, I just finished the, the Central America um, Open, or I'm sorry, South American Open in Argentina. Unfortunately, I was dancing with an injured foot, so I only finished second overall. But I was happy to do that with an injury. Um, my next big event I'm planning to dance is the Ohio Star Ball, and that's in November. That is very nice. I mean, second overall with a broken foot, I'd say as soon as I have a broken foot, I'm sitting down. I give you a lot of credit for that. <laughs> well, it, it didn't break, but I had a very bad sprain and I had tears, so I got some stem cell shots in the top of my foot. Otherwise, I probably um, would not have been dancing at all because the injury was very fresh, only six or seven weeks. Oh, wow. I mean, boy, just so much pain, I'll tell you that. And, um, you know, just another question as well, too, before we get to the writing part and uh, take a little break. Now, if you were to um, choose a dancing partner like somebody famous, like, say, with Dancing with the Stars, so you're thinking you can dance, who would be your ultimate partner? Well, probably, um, gosh, that's such a hard, hard question because there are so many good people on Dancing with the Stars, but I really did enjoy um, Mark Ballas and Derek Huff. They were probably two of my favorites. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, too. And um, we'll talk about your book as well, too. You've had some experience with that. You listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. 
Wagner.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page, Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public. Also iTunes, Apple, Google Play, and also, watch the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to that and take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mold device. We're here with author Linda Plunkett of Supernatural Rescue from Broken to Beautiful. This is before, during, and after brain surgery with um, tumor size of a tennis ball around 2012. We talked about her um, joy of dancing and also being on... Um, you know, quite a number of competitions. So you're thinking you dance, dancing with the stars, and um, quite a few others. But you also wrote the book as well, too. And um, you're also dealing with um, your tumor and everything else. So you can just uh, tell us all about the book, first of all, and how well, you started. The book was, yeah, the book was something I really did not plan on writing that kind of a book. I had a PhD in psychology, and I thought, well, maybe one day I would write a book about counseling, how to help people individually, marriages, or something of that nature. And then after I had uh, been diagnosed with the brain tumor and went through several years of illness and had so many miracles happen, the book changed very obviously. And so just so many um, what I would call miracle supernatural events and then changing my life really changing going from like ground zero to to the point now i'm very i would i wouldn't say 100 percent healed but very close to being 100 percent healed and able to do what i did before mm-hmm. so I, I am very thankful that i've gotten to the other side of that and hope to write two more books publish two more books in the next year okay and we'll talk more about that as well too and how did you first first detect that you had this um two or sides of the tennis ball it's like how did you uh first um notice that you may have something like that or was or something wrong well actually i didn't that was the bizarre thing i didn't have headaches i didn't really think that there was anything wrong but several people very close to me made the comment you know she's not herself there's something wrong my husband replied, she's fine. <laughs> but when I had the uh, MRI, it showed something different. That's how I found out was after the MRI. Mm-hmm. And, and, and of course, too, it was also a risky process as well, too. And um, maybe just, um, you know, go through a little bit of steps like with brain surgery and everything else, like the whole ordeal as well, too. And then also, um, you know, came to writing the book. And then afterwards, you start battling fibromyalgia eight months after the surgery. So it just had to be just um, just one heck of a journey, maybe just um, a little bit about it as well. Well, it was. It was. And it was, you know, it was such a shock, first of all. And then after the surgery, just feeling feeling like I was just completely empty. And I couldn't think and I couldn't walk and I had trouble speaking. And then, of course, kind of going from bad to worse when the fibromyalgia was diagnosed because I had pain all over my body and I couldn't sleep. And so that was to the point I said, why am I alive? You know, I asked God, why am I living? Why am I still here? And, you know, had some anger, had some really difficult feelings, not only emotionally and within myself, but even with God. And so um, what I learned from that is you can be honest with God. He already knows your heart. And honestly, as I look back now, everything that I went through, it really wasn't so much about me. It was really how I might help other people down the road. Mm -hmm. And I never would have dreamed going through that, that it would have resulted in a book that would have helped so many people, but it has. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, too. And what do you consider your favorite chapters in the book? And what's probably the most difficult chapter that you ever wrote? Well, I definitely can say the most difficult the most by far the most difficult book was called the 10 dark days and that was after the surgery going into the holidays at the end of the year 2012 and because i really um i was questioning god i was questioning why i was alive i couldn't make sense of anything and it just seemed to get darker and darker around me and really really felt you know, at that point that I wasn't going to make it until I did experience a near-death experience on the 10 day, the 10th day of that period. So mm-hmm. that by far was the most difficult period of time. Now, having said that, 
as I mentioned before, uh, developing fibromyalgia, having pain all over my body and not being able to sleep, it changed me into a different kind of person, and I didn't like that person. I began to hate myself, and, you know, I really, really um, had a hard time dealing with that, wondering if I would ever, ever be normal again. Uh huh, and, and of course you also um you know function as a speaker as well too, talking about the book and also you know talk about your personal story of per su- supernatural rescue, improving brain function as well too, and uh, maybe gives people advice uh, how can they improve brain function, especially after brain surgery. Well, exactly, and so many people have said to me when Mayo when Mayo Clinic basically said to me, "There's nothing we can do for you." How did you get well? And so many people have asked me that question. Um, When they said there was no hope, I decided I could not live like that, and I had to find a way to get better. And so I am going to be publishing a book about the brain. And, of course, that's an exciting field because now it continues to grow, and there's new discoveries that have been made that we didn't know about a few years ago, things that can help your brain the people, you know, people are just now discovering. And so that new book, I hope to have some of the very latest research in it. Mm -hmm. And you also talk about as well, too, like overcoming depression and also anxiety, improving self-esteem, dealing with anger. And of course, you know, that's important as well, too. And maybe some other things since you're a a public speaker as well, too, some other things to talk about. And what do you consider like the most important, especially in today's times? As far as a topic, you mean? Correct, yes. Well, what I'm I'm primarily speaking to, the largest audience I'm speaking to are people that maybe it's not as bad, quite as bad. People will tell me even that have cancer that they have not gone through what I have gone through. But there's a lot of people that are trying to live in spite of their situation. And that could be, you know, it could be any number of things. And that's why I'm focusing on so many different topics, um, spiritual, emotional, mental health, as well as physical. I'm really covering a number of things. I have the background as a psychologist that I can speak into a lot of topics, but now with my own experience. But so many people are going through so many difficult things, and it could be a physical illness. It could be a a mental or an emotional illness, or it could be a situation, um, you know, with stress or anger or dealing with situations in their workplace. And But a lot of people are what I would call hurting people. And so the other book that I'm writing will address across the board people that are suffering on many different levels. And since I have been through that, I full more can, I can more fully understand, I believe, what people are going through. Mm-hmm. That's amazing, too. We'll talk about your second book as well. You listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all you need. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, Radio Public, iHeart, as well as Apple, t- Apple iTunes, and Google Play, and more. You can also take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device and subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel as well. We're here with author Linda Plunkett. The book Supernatural Rescue from Broken and Beautiful, which is now on sale online. And this is before, during, and after brain surgery with tumor the size of a tennis ball around 2012. Also, battle foul myalgia eight months after. She was also in um, a number of dancing competitions like Dancing with the Stars, See, Think You Can Dance, and personal story about the book. And um, also, a public speaker talks on a number of subjects we had gone over. Now, let's talk about your second book as well, too, and uh, maybe give us some... an overview once again on what the book is about and when it will be published and um, selling online. Well, um, basically, um, Supernatural Rescue came out at the end of 2016, so it is available currently. And um, I'm going to be relaunching the book in another month or month and a half so it can be available in more forms. Now, the next two books, I don't have a date per se that they're coming out. 
But um, I would like people to stay in touch with me either through email or go going to my current website. My current win- website is lindasplunkett.com. And also, if people email me at Hope for Hurting, that's H-O-P-E-F-O-R-H-U-R-T-I-N-G, um, then um, I can put them on an email list so that they can get the most up-to-date information. Um, as far as those programs you mentioned, I can't take credit for all those programs, although I have competed in national championships like um, the, the USDC Championship Millennium and the Ohio Star Ball. I have been in those competitions. The others... Um, my dance partner, Eddie Rivera, could probably take credit for those. And he's a professional. I'm da- I dance as an amateur. Uh-huh. And it sounds like he did pretty well, as too, just look at the video as well, too. And um, also, I, I think we also have, like, some other projects as well, too. You got, um, you know, another book coming out. And um, what, what's, what, what are some of your next uh, speaking engagements um, you'll be having as well, too? Oh, there is one more thing, too. And uh, you talked about uh, studying psychology. You could also tell us um, how you got interested in that field. How I got interested in psychology? Correct, yes. Well, basically, I had a bachelor's degree from psycho- in psychology and education. That was way back in 1975. And um, then I had the opportunity to go back and get my master's and Ph.D. But I have always been interested in behavior. And, you know, like a lot of people out there, I grew up with certain issues. I had depression. And so... I was able to basically conquer my own depression. I was able to learn how to deal with my own issues. And so it was not only useful to me as a counselor, but it helped me in my personal life. Mm -hmm. That that sounds like an interesting thing, too. And um, also, what do you consider your uh, the most challenging that you have ever experienced when it comes to uh, any of the projects that you had or your favorite project? Well, um, you know, the the book that I just wrote, Supernatural Rescue, it was actually, um, it was not an easy book to write because my brain was really messed up. And one of the best pieces of advice that I received, and honestly, had I not received this, I'm not sure the book really would have come about. But when I came home from the hospital, I felt like I was such a mess. I put my face in my hands. I cried. And I said, I don't know how to do this because I had a huge hole in my head. I wasn't walking. I was having trouble thinking and talking. And what the home health care nurse said, he said to me, start writing a journal, start writing things down and down the road. It will help you realize where you've come from. Well, honestly, that became the basis for the beginnings of the book. I probably would not have remembered a lot of things had I not journaled. And so that although the book was difficult to write, it became easier as I looked back and I went through those notes to realize the journey I'd actually been on. Mm -hmm. That was was amazing as well, too. And uh, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? In my career as a writer? Uh, yeah. I, I think we are hit upon the dancing part, but the writing as well. Well, honestly, doing my Ph.D. work, I had to do a tremendous amount of writing. And so I had a professor, and he's no longer with us, but his name was Dr. DeWitt. And Dr. DeWitt encouraged me to write, and I did a tremendous amount of writing. And so much of the writing material then became speaking material. And so as a result of doing all that writing, I have a really large resource of materials I can draw from as a speaker. And so... I'm grateful for all those writing projects during my Ph.D. years in college. Mm-hmm. That was amazing, too. And what's the best advice you give to anybody at this point? Well, as far as writing, I would recommend you get a paper you get uh, or a book, and you get a pen, and you start journaling, and you date it. And the things that happen, um, the things you might consider interesting that maybe you want to either keep track of or you've – because at the time, honestly, I just did it for my own mental health. But as you write the journal and you write things and you go back and you see there's the pattern, it can make into an excellent book or make into a story. And I think a lot of people, they will also find that it's very good therapy for them to write. Mm, that is amazing as well, too. And uh, Linda, I just want to say a big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Once again, author, Linda Plunkett, author of Supernatural Rescue from Broken to Beautiful. This is very before and during uh, after brain surgery uh, back in 2012. And uh, tell us where can you purchase the book, what's your upcoming projects, what's the website, and again, how do people contact you? 
There again, um, if you would email me at Hope for Hurting, H O P E F O R H U R T I N G, I can keep you, and that's, I'm sorry, at AOL.com, I can keep you abreast of all my projects as well as making sure. Um, you can get a signed copy of the book. Also, that's the best way to book me as a speaker. Uh, as far as general information, on you can watch the dance testimony and also other radio interviews. That would be um, lindasplunkett.com. That is great. Linda, just want to say you've been a big inspiration. Thank you for your time. Looking forward Thank to you, ha- having you on again soon. And please do me a favor. Keep us up to date to what's going on, especially with your dancing. We love to see you on again. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Mike. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Listen online at themikewagnershow.com and on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. And watch the interview on YouTube. Also, become a sponsor of the program and or donate today at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again tomorrow for another episode of the Mike Wagner Show.